we're going to get to this because you made me go home and do some research. Okay. And I, I think Little Brother, when we talked about hip hop, mm-hmm. uh, besides Slum Village, which Fonte and, and, and Pooh and Ninth Wonder uh, and the other producing crew that came on after Ninth Wonder, when I, when I sit around, I started thinking about it. I did an interview about Jay Dilla uh, with a great uh, director, uh, a writer who wrote with Fonte about this music business. I start listening to old hip hop and I played something for a new artist. So I, I'm telling you, I sat back and I started thinking, little brother, underrated. We should do the most underrated hip hop okay. artists. There's of course, of some yeah. people we, we're gonna say it's trash and they sell a lot of records. So we're not gonna rate them on whether we think they're talent because everyone got talent. The most underrated let's talk about rappers. the ones they okay. not talking about. I got about. you. Yeah, well, we're gonna come to that. Kobe's parents didn't speak at the memorial. Why do you think that was? Is it, it's time to go. Is it time to leave this interview? <laughs> I think, oh, yeah, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I'll walk out of your interview. Uh, you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. No. Maybe they didn't want to. Maybe Jelly Bean and his wife and assisting them, they're not in the spotlight. And maybe they didn't want the targeting of being in the spotlight as seeing it as a time to um, say something because they hadn't said a lot in the past 10, 20 years. So to come up now after he's passed and have something to say, we already know the grief. So Vanessa invited all those people, did an association with the Lakers. They work with him all the time. Jelly Bean and his wife were a part of going to the games and doing all that. I don't, I don't think. So I think it's pretty cool that uh, they stayed uh, out of it. So no focus would go to anything. It didn't give him anything to tag. Yeah, and from what I understand, that was, his parents That was a were, really good answer. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good answer. And I mean, from what I understand, he wasn't really speaking to his parents for a very long time. He yeah. was estranged uh, from his parents. I guess they didn't support him marrying Vanessa, and then that never really got repaired. Yeah. Then there was a whole situation they were selling like his memorabilia at one point or, or something like that. Uh, but I saw pictures yeah. in the ma- in in the um, in the memorial pamphlet that everyone got received when they got there of uh, Kobe with his um, nephews and his you know pictures with his sisters. Oh, okay. You know that was yeah. she, she all of that was inside of there. I think Vanessa did an unbelievable job. Let me tell you, I don't know. We all may be sad, but not as sad as her. Oh, no. But Vanessa, I mean, yeah, losing lost. your husband is one thing. Losing your baby. Losing your daughter along with your husband. At the mm-hmm. same time, your husband is Kobe Bryant. And it really, I mean, yes, you have your own life and your own personality, but so much of it is tied into this right. giant Kobe yeah. Bryant. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, it's, yeah, she... No one should say anything bad about her. No, she <laughs> no, she in the should next ten years. I send let her grieve. All kind of messages, and I don't. I hope she gets them. Doesn't have to answer back, yeah. but she did an amazing job. 